what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you everything around exit lag guys since so many people asked me to actually review this program. Exit lag is a ping optimization software which is used by tons of Fortnite pro players to get the least amount of latency actually in Fortnite and especially in tournaments where ping is so so important and therefore I'm going to show you obviously also the best exit lag settings in Fortnite chapter 2 season 7 and show you how to optimize everything to gain the biggest competitive advantage out there in Fortnite which obviously is having the lowest amount of ping and there are actually some pretty cool hidden features in exit like which I'm quite sure tons of people don't even know about and if you guys want to support my work please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic and yeah guys obviously I'm gonna show you first of all how to set up exit like in the first place and all you guys have to do is move over to the official exit like website and there you can just simply sign up for free and as you can see you also get like a free days trial version where you can try it out fully without like any limitations and afterwards you can decide if you actually like it or not and yeah just simply log in into here and there you get like this little installer here which I already got on my desktop here guys and after you guys went through the whole entire installation process just simply open up the program and then here on the top left side you can see that there's a small search bar where you can just type in Fortnite and then you can already add it here to your recent games and yeah literally all you guys have to do now is just simply click onto Fortnite here and as you can see it also has like tons of different other games here which you can select Call of Duty, Battlefield, literally everything you could ask for and then you can see right now here on the game region yeah you get like different servers depending on where you live right now obviously in EU we have like a bunch of more servers than in US or I don't know like some other regions uh, Asia, South America and stuff like that so for me I live in Europe so I'm just gonna select the German servers because I live in Germany and as you can see we have four different servers and yeah I'm just gonna try it out here right now for myself real quick um, for the DE Frankfurt 1 server, if I'm actually gonna make now a small update here and check my milliseconds of input delay, you can see that I got 14 milliseconds. And if we go on Frankfurt 2, I'm just gonna update it again. As you can see, it's like on 12, 15 sometimes, so it doesn't really make a difference. Just simply select like all the servers in your near and always click on update so you get like every second a small update. Okay, 12 milliseconds, 13. This is actually a little bit lower than, okay, also 15. <laughs> so I'm gonna try out the next one here also. And it says 12, 17. This is even a little bit higher. So definitely I'm gonna use here one of these free servers here. Um, I can just show you if I select maybe the one here in Belgium. It might still be okay. Yeah, 1920 ping. Not the best. So obviously yeah, I have to select the Frankfurt server. And I'm just gonna select one of these here because they all work exactly the same. And then here on the top bar, I wouldn't really change too much because this is already optimized, guys. And if you're not quite sure what to even put in, just simply hit the optimize button here. And it's gonna analyze all the servers in your near, guys. It's gonna give you literally the best connection. As you can see, it's right now you're working in the background, analyzing everything, your region, how far the servers are away, and which one you should probably put in most likely and if it's just done here in a few seconds you can already see that it's selected for me DE Frankfurt 01 and I have 12 milliseconds of delay here and for these two bottom settings here guys I would only recommend you to put the check here on the first one as you can see here use the roots within my country first I think this is like kind of self-explanatory literally what this does it's gonna first of all utilize servers which are in your country and since I live in Germany I have four servers here in Germany if I would live I don't know in France we have only one server there in the Netherlands, we have three servers, and in the UK, two servers. So yeah, obviously, it's just gonna select the server which is in your country because theoretically, it should be the best. I don't know if you live maybe like at the border of another country, and let's say like I don't know the Holland server, like the Netherlands server is a little bit closer. Then try it out for yourself if you live like in the top left side of Germany. But yeah, you kind of get the whole point here, boys. And yeah, what I would recommend you now is just simply always like update, you know, here um, your milliseconds and just take a look which one of these servers is actually the best one, you know, just like try it out a little bit until you get like the lowest amount of um, delay here on the bottom right side. And once you selected it, we could already apply all the routes here. But guys, first of all, I want to show you something which is really cool here on this. Um, as you can see, we can first of all um, put here the general settings in there. I don't know, like start automatically with Windows if you want to utilize exit like actually on a perma base. Here on this next one, minimize exit like to the system tray on close. What this does pretty much is that it's going to run always in the background. It's not going to get close there. And here for this bottom setting, which is called accuracy and roots optimization. Um, this is just a little bit more system demanding, but it gives you like a more precise results and how much latency you actually get and which are like the best servers and stuff like that. So simply keep it here on stock. But the main feature I actually want to talk about in this section is the FPS section, because you actually have a FPS boost section. And as you can see, you get tons of steps you can actually do here, like disable core parking, which I already did in another video with like a separate program. And just to see that this is literally built here into Axelag, you don't have 
have to run a single program in the background is pretty cool. I mean, if you're right now utilizing like another program for, I don't know, disable core parking, um, this is built into exit like you don't have to run a second program in the background and this is so nice as you can see here it already does stuff like the fine maximum processor priority for games you know like tons of people do this with their task manager every time they start fortnite this is also built into exit like the fine minimum processing priority for system service also super nice here and pretty much what you guys can do is just simply enable each of these settings here. Um, if something shouldn't work out the best way possible, just simply click here on restore original configuration and you should be chilling again. But as mentioned, all of these settings are just simply gonna boost your FPS, so there's nothing wrong with them. And yeah, I explained all of these already in previous tutorials. Uh, where I actually showed you how to do this in Windows and seeing that this is literally built into Exit like is super nice. And now guys, as we optimize everything, I'm just gonna go here on apply rules and as you can see, now everything is connected and all I have to do now is just simply start Fortnite so I'm gonna see you guys just in a second. And yeah guys, I have to say, since my internet is already quite good, I connected here on NA guys and I'm usually on NA on something like 130 ping and as you can see through Exit like I'm only on 100 ping, yeah, 100, 105, 103, 93, 90, sometimes even 83. And I have to say, this is insane, yeah, guys. I'm not gonna showcase this here on Europe because everyone who watches my channel actually knows that I got zero ping in creative and only like 12, 15, 20 ping on EU when I'm normally playing. So I just wanted to showcase here an A, and I have to say, this is amazing, yeah. I'm just gonna put a screenshot right now here on how it normally looks like if I play an A um, from like my normal PC, you know, my normal internet. And I usually have like 130 ping, sometimes even 140 on an A. So my ping on NAEs just went down by 30, which is crazy to think about. Guys, just check this out. 99 ping, 103, 104 on NA, guys. Yeah, this is a whole entire different region. So my ping more or less got 30 better, like... And yeah, guys, if you just check it out, you can see my ping is literally on 100, straight 100. And before I had on NAEs, as mentioned, like 130, 140. So we have to think about this. Exit like just simply helped me out by almost 30 milliseconds, which is crazy. I mean, there's no point of me just here trying this out on you guys. As mentioned, everyone who knows me knows that I got really good ping on you. So therefore showing you that you can get as well like a zero ping on exit lag, the same as zero ping on normal internet wouldn't really here make a difference. But as you can see on a whole entire region, like 86 ping, 84, 87, stuff like that. My ping almost got like by 50 milliseconds better, which is crazy to think about guys. I think this kind of already shows you how good exit like actually can be. What's good bro? <laughs> oh no, homie's about to get it. What's good bro? And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.